Did you know that Viagra can make flowers stay erect? This is true. If you dissolve Viagra in the water, it can make flowers stay alive for a week longer than usual. Now look, I love flowers, but why waste a good pill? Ha! Nothing but the truth here, folks. In today's video, I have the safest neighborhoods in Baltimore, according to statistics from Area Vibes. Don't get lost in that 2002 made-for-TV show, The Wire. Baltimore is an awesome city. Meet me on the other side and stay to the end because the last neighborhood I reveal is my secret. Welcome back and for those that have no clue who I am, my name is Mark. Now whether you're moving to Baltimore from nearby or relocating from across the country, Baltimore, Be More, Charm City as is well known, has well over 200 unique neighborhoods with historical roots, great amenities, affordable housing as you'll see, and big time employment opportunities. Here are five safe, affordable neighborhoods for you to consider. First on the list, the Inner Harbor. Average home price, ready for this? $213,000, $683. Average monthly rental, $1,288. Crime rate, safer than 91% of Baltimore neighborhoods, and it is perfect for singles and young professionals. Situated just five minutes from downtown Baltimore, Inner Harbor is home to many popular attractions and restaurants. This neighborhood's close proximity to the water means that residents can enjoy the outdoor recreation alongside more urban amenities, making it an excellent choice for active lifestyles. Public transit is highly accessible in this safe Baltimore neighborhood with several, several free Charm City circulator routes, bus stops, and light rail stations are close by. Things to do in the Inner Harbor, check out the IMAX Theater at the Maryland Science Center. You can of course climb aboard real military vessels like the USS Constellation for a tour uh, at Historic Ships of Baltimore. Or you can check this out, you can play a game of beach volleyball or even join a league at the Baltimore Beach and it's right next to Rash Field which abuts Federal Hill. Uh, and there's a brand new awesome skate park too. Of course, you can experience a breathtaking sky high view of the city from top of the world observation deck at Baltimore's World Trade Center. And of course, you know, we got fresh seafood. You can enjoy a waterfront views uh, at the Rusty Scupper, or of course, you can seek out a bowl of classic shuyu or chicken pie tan at ramen. Uh, Osuki, you got world-class cuisine here at your doorstep at the Inner Harbor. Second on the list, according to Area Vibes, is Locust Point. Love this area. Uh, sold several fabulous condos in Silo Point. You can check that out. It's gorgeous. The average home price in Locust Point is $239,675. The average monthly rental is $1,939. And check this out, safer than 83% of Baltimore neighborhoods. And it's perfect for singles, young professionals, and families. It's located in South Baltimore on the Patapsco River. Locust Point was once the harbor entryway for Polish, Irish, and Italian uh, American immigrants, giving this area a vibrant multicultural feel. This historic Charm City neighborhood is also home to Fort McHenry, where Francis Scott Key, of course, was inspired to write the Star Spangled Banner. As for modern conveniences, Locust Point has a variety of restaurant, coffee houses, and bars. So people moving to this Baltimore neighborhood, uh, you will have always have plenty of things to do. Commuting is really easy in this affordable East Coast neighborhood, whether by bus or water taxis, a uh, home for sale in Locust Point. They can range from row houses to condos and more. Also for the parents, if you're living in Locust Point, you can send you know, your kids to the local schools like Francis Scott Key Elementary School. Locust Point is awesome. Things to do in Locust Point, experience a piece of American history. Of course, you could stroll through the park at Fort McHenry and then maybe play a game of tennis or you know, give your four-legged friends some fresh air at Latrobe Park. Love that park. Uh, you can see everything from Atlantic bottlenose dolphins to zebra sharks at the National Aquarium. You can learn more about stories of immigrants 
from around the world through their authentic letters on display at the Baltimore Immigration Museum. I've never been there, but I heard it's awesome. And of course, food-wise, you can order Santiago Wrap or Huevos Rancheros from the all-day brunch menu at Little Havana's uh, or get a plate of chicken or tandoor shrimp or other delicious Indian food at the Himalayan house or visit the tasting room at Diamondback Brewing. You can try the craft beers there or of course, ready for this, you can fill up on Samos platter with your choice of protein at Samos Greek Island Grill. I love that place. Their chicken salad too is phenomenal. Check out Samos Greek Island Grill. Love that place. Next on the list is Mount Washington. Average home price, $219,000, $100. That's affordable. Average monthly rental is $839, please. Crime rate, safer than 80% of the Baltimore neighborhoods, and it is perfect for singles, young professionals, families, and even retirees. It's located on the northwestern edge of the city. Mount Washington is one of the safest neighborhoods with bountiful green space from expansive Ivan Luckman Memorial Park and more. Mount Washington is also full of family-friendly activities for people moving to Baltimore with kids, uh, neighborhood parents. They just love the presence of the Mount Washington Pediatric Hospital. Please, if you got kids, you understand why. As well as the schools in Mount Washington School. And you also have nearby Summit Park Elementary School, the friendly, quiet vibe. It's a very chill community. It gives Mount Washington a country feel, and it also, but it also has that city zip code. Home styles in Mount Washington, they range from colonial and Tudor homes to craftsman ranches. So there's something for everybody in Mount Washington. Everyone living in this cozy Charm City neighborhood, you know, they love it. I'm telling you. Miss Thompson, one of my clients, she bought there last year, and I've spoken to her several times, and she absolutely loves it. Things to do in Mount Washington, uh, you, of course, you can enjoy the breathtaking views of a pond and waterfall, plant life, uh, and more along the 250-yard trail at the Mount Washington Arboretum. You can get a membership and cool off this time of year in the summer with a dip in the pool at the Meadowbrook Swim Club. And of course, that's where Michael Phelps got his uh, start. You can browse the books for sale or attend events like author appearances and poetry readings at the Ivy Bookstore. Love that place. Uh, of course, you can take a pottering class if you're into that, explore ceramic art at the gallery space, or attend art shows and other events at Baltimore Clayworks. My daughter actually enjoys that. Uh, you can sign your kids up for Little League Baseball at the Roland Park. Or you can get a table at Ethel's. Ethel's is very cool. It's a Creole kitchen. It's got some of the unbelievable uh, jambalaya I've ever tasted. And of course, they have Maryland crab cakes, our go-to. Uh, you could also check out the hopping scene at Mount Washington Tavern. They have phenomenal burgers. It's always a place to be seen. Uh, it's very good. Or of course, you could chow down on uh, edamame and sushi rolls at Chiyo Sushi. And of course, Pimlico Racetrack's right around the corner. As I mentioned in the beginning, if you're moving to Baltimore from nearby or just relocating from across the country, you gotta check out my free moving guide below. It's free, click the link below, and it will help you stay organized. Number four on the list is the neighborhood of Riverside. Average home price, $257,000, $315. Average monthly rental is $1,884. Crime rate, safer than 93% of Baltimore neighborhoods, and it's perfect for singles and young professionals. Riverside is prized for being safe, affordable place to live near the heart of downtown Baltimore. It has row houses and apartment living to allow residents to live close to the action with plenty of restaurants and things to do right outside the door. Uh, this neighborhood in Baltimore, you know, it's still quiet and peaceful. However, compared to the more constant hustle and bustle of downtown, uh, Riverside is highly walkable. It's easy to access to Northwest Harbor as well. And of course, it's got the major roadways like I-95 that's easy to access, and of course, Calvertian Way. It just makes it easy to travel around the neighborhood for both recreation and of course, work. Plenty of things to do in Riverside. Purchase fresh cut flowers, locally grown produce, 
sweet treats, and more at the BMI. That's the Baltimore Museum of Industry Farmers Market. And of course, you could take a dip in a pool and enjoy a picnic at the pavilion or walk down a trail at Leon, the Riverside Park. Or of course, you could tour Sagamore Spirit Distillery to learn all about the history of the grounds and to sip on distilled spirits, including whiskey and rye. That is a song. Whiskey and rye. So anyway, have a wonderful dining experience uh, with delivers delicious entrees like Butcher's Hill cheesesteak or cheese pizza at De Pasquale's Harbor View. That place is awesome. De Pasquale's is real. Uh, you can order authentic Italian favorites at Limoncello, Italian restaurant and wine bar, or of course you can check out the cheeseburger egg rolls at the Riverside Tap House. Never had them, but I heard they're awesome. These are absolutely hidden treasures of Charm City. Last on the list is my secret neighborhood is Roland Park. Average home price, $314,000. $367. The average rental is $1,064. Crime rate, safer than 96% of Baltimore neighborhoods. And it's perfect for singles, young professionals, families, and retirees, active adults all day long. Roland Park is a historic North Baltimore neighborhood, and it has the honor, the distinct honor, of being the first planned suburb community in the U.S. Did not know that. Today, fantastic restaurants, retail shops, and a close-knit community make Roland Park a great spot to call home for anyone looking to buy a home in Baltimore. I love this area. Big tall trees throughout. Houses for sale range from historical late Victorian properties to more modern craftsman style homes with a variety of other options in between. The presence of the well-performing Roland Park Elementary School as well as a number a number of private schools nearby make this neighborhood perfect for Baltimore families with young children. Meanwhile, you know, public transit is easy to access. It's easy to access the light rail and there's bus stations nearby. It makes Roland Park an ideal Baltimore neighborhood for commuting for young professionals as well. Things to do in Roland Park, of course, for the, you know, for the golfers out there, you could tee off at one of the best the best courses in the nation at Baltimore's Country Club, the Five Farms Golf Course. I've never played there. I don't play much golf. Or of course, you can attend make and take crafting events like build your own board game night or check out the books for the whole family to enjoy at the Roland Park branch of the Enoch Pratt Library. That's always, always different types of activities there. Of course, you can enjoy more than 200 acres of gorgeous gardens and towering trees in the natural oasis of Clybourne, uh, Arboretorium, I love that place. Uh, of course, you can share around a Mimosas and Miss Shirley's Cafe, that's a Baltimore staple. Or experience the, you know, Petite Louis Bistro. I took my wife there on many dates before we got married. Awesome time. Of course, you can get delicious Indian food uh, at the family of Namaste Baltimore, or just heat things up with a plate of hot wings at Belvedere Towers Cafe. Perfect for oral games and of course, Ravens. Don't forget people, down below is my free moving guide. Check it out, it's free. It will help you stay organized through your move. Welcome to Baltimore. I love you, Baltimore.